Mm. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I've always loved Japan. My cousin moved out there about 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. So their art style always interested me. So when I kind of heard about the Glasgow Boys and then I think it was my mum that told me about, you know, they did go to Japan and were very much inspired by the colours, the costumes there. It was yeah. like, I know what I want to see today. I want to see um, one of their pieces. So. Mm -hmm. so this is Hornell, who's one yeah. of the Glasgow Boys. Yeah. And this was later in his life that he painted So this, this was kind of just before his career like really took off. So he was one right. of the prominent members of the Glasgow mm -hmm. Boys. And Hornell and his friend Henry, who mm -hmm. was also one of the Glasgow boys, mm -hmm. actually took a trip to Japan. Right. Um, it's kind of a big deal back then. Huge deal. Yeah. So Japan had only opened up to Western trade in the 1850s. Mm -hmm. So they were going, you know, like literally just as things were happening. Yeah. Um, Glasgow and Japan had really good relations because of like trade and industry and yeah. engineering. Mm -hmm. So they had an opportunity that Alex Reed, the art dealer and mm -hmm. um, William Burrow, mm -hmm. as in Burrow Collection, mm -hmm. um, were two of the big people that helped fund Hornell and Henry to right. go to Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they, they got an opportunity to go and see what they were so excited yeah. about. It's interesting that kind of like uh, the way Glasgow and Japan actually have quite a lot of similarities in, in ways. I mean, I think of like Macintosh and a lot of his furniture, right? Yeah. Being very Japanese in yes. design. Yeah. And you have the, the Glasgow boys also taking such inspiration from there. Um, I mean, I, and you can see why I think it's just so rich in beauty and colour and, and nature. Can I get a bit closer? Yeah. yeah. It's got a high horizon line, right. which is really common in Japanese mm -hmm. art. And it's also the rule of thirds, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you, Pleasing to eye. the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mm -hmm. with that, there's also um, an S shape to the image. Mm -hmm. So your eye kind of follows the mm -hmm. story of the image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you kind of almost look at it piece by piece and it builds a narrative, mm. um, which is so important in Japanese prints, and yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really what they were seeing as photographs and prints that had been imported from Japan and uh -huh. inspired their artwork. That's um, so cool. And just getting into like the emotions of the faces, the, the playing, and oh, it's so vibrant. It's beautiful. You know, I was very privileged to go to Japan just before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I was there, and I just fell in love with it. I absolutely did. So fall in love with this painting there too. Yeah. <laughs> the way it's composed feels like it, it's, they've picked these characters out, mm -hmm. you know. Kite flying was very much a boy's activity. Right, I see. So I wonder if they were watching it. There would be a bit of jealousy maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was traditionally something that they weren't, especially as geishas, yeah, yeah, yeah. you couldn't run around playing, no. you know. Very kind of... It had to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever I see a geisha, I do think of the fact that like, in the queer community when you're getting into drag or you're getting and you put on your geesh, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Get your full geesh on. Designs of kimonos and mm. the way all of that is, it's all about perception and beauty yeah. and uh, yeah. detail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Detail's so important. That's so true. In terms of your work, mm. do you find that you talk more about Scotland because of your work with Outlander or do you feel like when you're looking at something like this, do you you feel proud to be Glaswegian and how does that all tie in? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm very proud to be Scottish in general and then here I am making this television show that really celebrates Scotland mm -hmm. and its history. The Glasgow School of Art, um, huge part of many of my friends' lives, you know. Um, my cousin that uh, uh, moved out to Japan 30 years ago was a, was a student there as well. So, yeah, I'm just, as I've grown older mm -hmm. and matured, um, I've been very privileged to see a lot of places in the world and like my favourite place now is Glasgow, yeah. you know, so. That's always going to be home. Yeah. And it's so funny to think, I mean, my, my tenement, my great gran, mm -hmm. that was where she kind of lived, Partick area, so she would have seen that tenement, Yeah. you know, when it was first new. Mm -hmm. and to think that she was there as well and the Glasgow boys were doing their thing around, I don't know, it's just. It's like a homecoming yeah. in so many ways. Yeah, yeah. So if this was their Japan mm -hmm. time, that was later. That was later, yeah. So this one was um, quite a bit later mm -hmm. and sort of more towards the end of his career. So what's some of the first Glasgow Boys like works? So where, where did they start? We've actually got one more that um, oh, I can yeah? show you. Oh, absolutely. Which I think is over here. So if you. Where should I stand? What's going to come out? Um, this is quite exciting. 
Oh, wow. That's just beautiful. This is a complete surprise to me. So again, this is. So this is Hornell mm -hmm. as well. And this is one of his earlier works that was inspired by Japan, but before he went. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of working from what at the time would have just been photographs and prints. It's beautiful. So this was before his, they went to Japan, you yeah. said? So this is the earliest one we're looking at wow. today. I can t totally see the two there. There's, mm -hmm. I can tell that they're of the same artist, I think, right? Yeah. It's like, so this was just from his imagination? I think so. He would have wow. used um, photographs as inspiration and mm. like uh, composition and they were painting very much against the grain with this. Yeah. Um, oh, we love that. We love yeah. a rebel. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think this is pretty cool to be standing in a, in a Hornell throuple. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for showing me these. I appreciate it. Absolutely fascinating.